How's it going everybody? It is a cold but beautiful day. Uh, beautiful skies, sun shines out, and we are gonna make a push to get corn harvest done. Um, my cousin's not here today. I hope you guys enjoyed the last video uh, of him driving the green cart. He said he really enjoyed himself, so that made me happy that I could uh, that I could get him out here and put him in the green cart. He really, really enjoyed it. And uh, they never really combined. So it was, uh, they'd have a guy come in and combine and put into gravity wagons. He used to love enjoying, or he used to love unloading gravity wagons. So uh, it was great to have him kind of see a different style of harvesting. And I'm real glad I could get him out here. Like I said, he had a lot of fun. He said, I'm out here to fire up the 4420. the generator all shut down and cords all put away uh, he drove it over here last night I'm gonna take it over to the field for him he'll bring the grain cart out uh, it, was, it was really nice having the third person having my cousin here he was able to just keep the combine going all the time for the most part I can keep him going quite a bit but there's times he's got to stop so soon with the green cart and get started while I uh, get things set up around the bin get the bin opened up hopefully fingers crossed that's our new thing now fingers crossed before we start every harvest you can have a good long day of harvesting so fingers crossed here we go so I wanted to apologize to you guys in the last video um, I could have sworn at the beginning when I was filming an intro, I said something about it, what the plans were for the day, but I think when I was putting all the video clips together, I must have trimmed that part out. Um, when uh, when I stopped and, and we I shut off our truck and I filled the neighbor's truck and took it over to his place, uh, we were selling some corn right out of the right out of the field, taking it up to the feed mill, and uh, our neighbor was going to do the hauling for us. So what I did was I filled up his truck and then I took it over to his shed parked it that way he could jump in he said he was heading out at six in the morning to head up there so
bundled up in Carhartt and froze to the bone. The next day it's sunny and you are in a long sleeve flannel. Gotta love New York. Closer. Let's go get another load. I tell you what, I don't know if I've ever said this or if I have before, but I don't say it enough. It really doesn't get much better than this. We're making this final push to get this field done. And I absolutely love doing this. I love being in the equipment. I love being out in the field. I love working on this farm that I grew up on. I love working out here with my father. I love working with my brother. 
I love it when my grandfather came. That was really cool. You know, I thought about all the times when I was a little kid and I'd go to visit him and I'd probably have to bug him and annoy him and follow him around. It was great to have him follow me around for a day. Um, to have my son or my daughter ride around with me the way I used to when I was a kid. To have my nephew ride around with me. To be able to work with like my brother-in-law across the river or my buddy Dusty down the, down the road. Or other friends like Joe and Nikki up on the hill. Sometimes you just gotta take a step back and even if it sounds cheesy, just sit there and smile and say, wow, this is just, you're just truly blessed. On that note, time to get loaded up, put some more corn in that bin. We are getting close to the top. way over there because there's a big dip down over here that and it's kind of icy and the truck just wouldn't get through so I leave that as my loading area and as the further we get the longer I gotta walk over so I'm kind of missing my cousin running the great car I got spoiled yesterday just just trucking the last load of the year uh, I'm gonna get in there God, it's almost eight o'clock now uh, yeah almost eight o'clock now so I'm gonna get in there tomorrow and level that out and uh, he's just finishing up combining now and he's gonna bring the grain cart back the grain carts loaded up pretty good we're gonna put the grain cart all loaded in the shed see if we can get a hold of the neighbor and get his truck over here so we can load just load that up a nice full grain cart will about fill that truck. So if we can get that truck loaded up again and get that sent out, we should be good. I'm gonna close this hatch for the night. And that is a wrap on the 2019 corn harvest and just harvest in general. So good to be done. <clears throat> Gotta go up top and close that up shut the tractor off, put the truck away, and we are set. Thank you everybody uh, for all your likes and comments uh, throughout all the harvest. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Drop me a question or comment below. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you have, thumbs up to you, I truly appreciate it. Look at all this steam, look at all my hot air. Um, hit that bell icon to get notifications uh, when I post videos like these. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good one, everybody.